Larry Kudlow said, it looks like Camilla still hates business. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. A socialist is still going to socialist. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not going to, she can't, she's not going to change her nature no matter how, um, how much the mainstream uh, democratic leftist media uh, try to prop her up and, and make her look like uh, she's somewhere in the middle, somewhere in the middle when it comes to her politics and policies. We all know the truth. Again, I, I keep I keep stating time and time again, even though they try to memory hold, um, they try to memory hold that um, that article that she is ranked left of Bernie Sanders. She was one of the most leftist senators in government. And, and so she's of course she's going to be no way she changes 180 degrees like that and become some like middle middle of the ground Democrat. It's not true. And socialism destroys businesses. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. We're going to basically play the clip of um, Larry Kudlow from Fox News Business. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things that I can't talk about here. <coughs> Excuse me. Also, check me out on um, on X where I post news throughout the day there as well. All right, so let's go ahead and play this clip. Here we go. Looks like Kamala still hates business. And that's the subject of the riff. Kamala Harris expected to give a speech on Friday outlining some kind of economic program, probably aiming at the Biden-Harris ongoing virus of high prices. Right. You just watch, all right? Just watch. She's going to blame business because she always does. Earlier in the Biden-Harris administration, when prices started skyrocketing, they immediately blamed businesses for price gouging, something yep. called excess profits and another thing. And they're, they're, they're still doing that. That's what they're doing right now. They're saying, it's the, oh, the corporations, the big the big box stores, they're price gouging. This is not the case. Like, especially when it comes to, like, grocery stores and stuff. They, they and restaurants, they run on paper-thin margins. So there is no room to price gouge. If they were price gouging, it would be way more expensive than what it already is today. So that's not, that is not true. It's not it's not the um it's not the business's fault. It's the administration fault. It's the um it's the policies and the regu and the um regulations and the and the overspending. It's the government. Our government is the one that put us in this position, not the businesses. Thing called corporate greed. Then of course, they told us the problem would be transitory. Well, they were wrong on all counts. <laughs> so they formed a task force. They had the Justice Department. Yeah, transitory. I'd never heard the word transitory so much during that 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 era when they went through this went through that stage and say, "Oh, it's transitory. This this is not gonna last forever." You know, this this economy that's happening right now is just because of um, the pandemic, and we're, we're we're rebounding from the pandemic. This is transitory. Remember when they said all that? The Federal Trade Commission, the Agriculture Department, the Energy Department and all kinds of other agencies and came up with nothing. There was no proof that food businesses were price gouging or neighborhood gasoline pumps sneaking in excess prices and profits or anything. No proof, nothing, nada. Not nothing. the oil companies, not the poultry companies, nobody. Then they started blaming junk fees, which may be a nuisance, but have nothing to do with inflation. Right. Then the San Francisco Fed came out with a study that corporate price gouging has not been a primary driver of U.S. inflation. Ouch. But I virtually guarantee you, Kamala's going to try and make that price gouging case one more time. Because even with her recent flip-flopping on all of her left liberal progressive positions, she still today does not like business. Full stop. Government is never wrong in her book. It's always businesses that's wrong. So here's something to consider. Even today, the level of consumer prices is up over 20% during the 42-month term of Biden-Harris. That includes a 22% hike in grocery prices, 22% increase in rents, a 32% rise in electricity, 
and a 50% rise in gasoline. Or right. in July alone, the price of fresh fruits and melons jumped 10%, beef prices up 8%, coffee prices over 3%, and real weekly earnings for typical middle-income families down 4% because prices have increased more than paychecks. So Absolutely. the long tail of inflation continues to plague middle America. Meanwhile, the budget deficit for fiscal year 24 is expected to hit just south of $2 trillion. That is nearly 7% of GDP. And this is in peacetime, with no national emergencies and an economy that's only recently left full employment. And the CBO baseline shows $2 trillion deficits as far as the eye can see, mm. with publicly held debt rising to 120% of GDP. How about that? Ms. Harris utters not one peep about this. Not one peep. Uh, uh, that's exactly why she's hiding. She cannot answer for this. She cannot answer for the economy. It's so bad. And But the, the, the thing is, I've seen a video where they try to convince, they still trying to convince us that the, it, the economy is not that bad. They're saying things is, a, is, 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 is about to get better. I don't understand. They still continue to gaslight, even though we know what the real deal is. And I don't understand how people could continue to support the system and when they know they're being lied to. Like, you know the Democrats are sitting there lying to you and telling you that the economy is great. When you got to go go pay your bills, you know it's not the case. When you got to go to the grocery store, you know that's not the case. But you continue to support them. That makes absolutely no sense to me. This insane federal spending that really is the root cause of this particular unfortunate cycle of inflation. Not a peep. And you won't hear about it in her speech on Friday either. The Biden's regulatory attack on business their constant war against fossil fuels, along with their repeated efforts to raise taxes, all that has muzzled the productive supply side of the economy that creates goods and services. But while they're throwing a wet blanket over production and work incentives, they continue to increase demand through government spending and deficits. These, they mainline the money right into your checking accounts, you know? And regrettably, the J. Powell Fed has been a handmaiden to the Biden-Harris spending profligacy. Too much money chasing too few goods breeds more inflation. So, yep. the year-to-year -year CPI has slowed to 2.9% for all items, excluding food and energy, 3.2%. But that disinflation will not last long as Democrats continue their free spending and borrowing ways. American business didn't force higher government spending or borrowing, or regulating, nope. or taxing. Nope. Those mistakes came from government action. And unless that government action is curbed, inflation is likely to flare up again, especially if the wrong crowd is reelected to the White House. Get yep. my drift? And that's Amen. the riff for tonight. Amen. I mean, Cudlow, I couldn't have said it any better. He broke it all down. If I'm, I'm telling y'all, if um, the Democrats remain in power, I know I said it probably about five times today. I probably did like 20 videos, but three, four videos on the economy today saying the same thing. But I'm, t I'm not, this is not hyperbolic. If they get, oops, sorry about that. If they get in office for another um, four years, it is the end of the United States as we know it. So we, that's why I'm going so hard with the economy because that's what that seems to be um, what's, what relates to most people is the economy. Um, and and um, the, the Democrat Party does not have the answers to that because they are the, re they, they are the ones that cause this mess. But um, let me know what y'all think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe. And check out JJThePsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.